Hello, 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 another week, another video. Welcome to NDI in two minutes. A show where we talk about the latest developments in the world of NDI, notable insults of NDI in the region, and real world applications of NDI, all in less than two minutes. And today, we're gonna talk about one of the most common questions that we get from our friends in the industry. What is the difference between NDI and NDI HX? Ready? Timer starts now. Yes, there are two flavors of NDI. There's NDI, or NDI, high bandwidth NDI, or just plainly NDI. And on the other corner, there is NDI. NDI is a method used by software applications and FPGA embedded devices. NDI uses ice frame compression structure. It also uses discrete constant transform or DCT compression that is similar to the compression used by ProRes and DNX HD and has a technical latency of one frame for software and less than a frame in hardware. NDI also uses variable bitrate compression or VDR. This depending on your source. For instance, a 1080i50 will be around 150 megabit per second. 1080p50 will be around 130 megabit per second, and 4K50 will be around 250 megabit per second. So these are all target data. On the other corner, there's NDI HX or high efficiency NDI. This is a method used by hardware devices to allow use of existing onboard compression circuitry. NDI HX uses long gap compression structure, it utilizes H.264 compression, and the highest bit rate is around 15 megabit per second for a 1080i50. The latency may be a few frames, but that also varies depending on your device and your video format. Take note, there's NDI HX version 2 right now that supports native NDI functionalities like groupings, discovery server, remote tally, and monitoring. But remember, NDI HX version 1 is still supported in the latest NDI version. So, when to choose between NDI and NDI HX? The answer is rather simple. It all depends on the balance between your application and your network infrastructure. Remember, both NDI and NDI HX features a so you don't really need to worry about that. If your application calls for ultra-low latency, then native NDI is for you. But if you don't really care about few frames of latency and you want to use your existing wireless network to transmit and receive your signal, then NDI HX is your guy. The good news for new tech trackcaster users out there is that both flavors of this NDI technology are supported and you can easily switch between them. Ain't that cool? Time! Whew, that's it. I hope this is helpful and I will see you again next week for another episode of NDI in 2 minutes. I really did my latte right now. Ciao!